Hey guys, welcome to a new Jump Force video, and this is a very long overdue Toshiro guide, so let's go ahead and get right into it. First up, we got Toshiro's first ability, Hail Flower Dragon. This connects with the first, third, fourth, and fifth light, the first, second, and third heavy, the first down tilt, and a charged up tilt. Toshiro's Ice Cold Birds really only connect after the second heavy, and when you're against a wall, sometimes they can miss. Next up, we got his third ability, Six Point Ice Formation. It connects off the fourth light, the second and third heavy, and a charged up tilt. Alright guys, and for his ultimate, four elements freeze. Now this one actually kind of misses a lot. Um, it does not land off the fifth light, the sixth light, the first heavy, the first down tilt, or the second up tilt. Everything else should be good, it should land, but quite a lot of missing for uh, an ultimate. So Toshiro's does make sense, it's pretty, pretty short AoE and on the ground. Basic things to know about Toshiro's first ability that it is not safe on block so if the opponent blocks it you will be punished and you can land ultimate after landing the ability. Icicle birds can be charged and they're very good as a zoning tool. They're very hard to dodge so if you did spam them they would have to con uh, consistently sidestep if someone you're playing against has like a melee ult and they're awakened, I'd recommend doing this if you are at the correct distance away. Because as you can see, you have a little time um, to throw out your next one before um, they have a chance to do anything. They can vanish, they can sidestep, they can definitely dash to the side and miss all of them. However, uh, most people don't think about these things for some reason, so pretty, pretty good ability in my opinion, even though it connects with only um, the second heavy. Also, if you do land this after the second heavy, you can land ultimate after. His third ability is pretty basic. It's a two bar combo that if you land off the fourth heavy or the second heavy, you can uh, follow it up. That was a really bad example. Let me go ahead and do it. I tried to follow it up with heavies. You can follow it up with lights and continue a combo. If you really want to and you're close enough, um, you can uh, follow it up. Mostly if you're against the wall, you can follow it up with the Hail Flower Dragon. And again, this does also connect with ults. Um, doing this on the third heavy can be risky sometimes. Some people can get out of it and also trying to land Hail Flower Dragon. Um, if you are not near a wall, sometimes whiffs. So if you're doing it on the third heavy, I don't recommend following up with the Hail Flower Dragon. I recommend just kind of resetting, putting on pressure, or just backing off and charging up your meter. Toshiro can only land stage transition on the fourth light. You can do it on the first and second. However, they do have a chance to sidestep, um, guard, or just move, or just ult, use an ability, whatever. Regardless, you can only confirm it off the fourth light. Toshiro has a pretty good grab string. You can grab, um, and it's pretty much almost the same speed on every single light. Uh, of course, the second light is the fastest, however, um, the third is also good. Fourth is just a little bit slower than the third, and the fifth is the slowest. Um, so definitely two and three are your friends. However, um, all of them are actually pretty decent and pretty good. He also has a spammable grab, so after you grab, dash up and grab him. I mistimed it right there. Dash up, grab. So go ahead and use this to your ability if you want. Alright guys, getting into some of his advanced stuff, starting with the safe vanish combo. Now Toshiro really only has it on one part, and that's off his second heavy. So go ahead and do two heavies, vanish forward, and do the third heavy, and it's a safe vanish combo. 
Now, I will say, if you don't know how to vanish, all you have to do is, while you're hitting them, click X or the jump button, and you'll vanish. You can decide the direction you want to vanish by holding the analog stick. If you want to hold it back, hold it back. If you want to hold it forward, hold it forward. If you just want to sit there, just press X. Don't move your analog stick at all. If you have a video for all this, guys, please, it should be in the description. Go watch it. I don't want to repeat this every single time. Off of his lights, he really only has one interesting one we can kind of use, and that's off his fourth light. So if we do four lights, vanish in place, do the fifth light, it kind of resets him there. As you can see, he stands up. So what we can actually do with that is do four lights, vanish, fifth light, and like do a maybe full charge guard break or something. Or if they react fast, we can do a half charge down tilt. So vanish, half charge down tilt, follow it up with all of them, and then continue a combo because he can continue a combo after his down tilts. So, some things we can do with that, I mean, we can also probably grab, let's see what happens if we grab, vanish, fifth light, grab, right? Eh, that's a little slow, but it's possible, it's something we can do. Let's actually see if we can vanish again. We can vanish, interesting. So, if we really wanted to, we could vanish. Vanish, vanish back, dash, I don't know, we can do a lot of things like that. I'd recommend just sticking with the four lights, vanish, one more light, half charge, down tilt. And then follow it up with a combo or something. Alright guys, talking about his Vanish String, remember the Vanish String is where we do something like 3 Heavies, Vanish, and Dash at him, and see if we can continue it with either an ult, an ability, or just more Heavies. So, what Toshiro can actually do is something like this off his 3rd Heavy, is do the Vanish String. You can actually kind of half charge your Heavy, and we can actually keep hitting them, I mistimed it right there. But it looks like something like an um, infinite combo, right? But this is only if they are um, choosing not to guard or press any buttons. Um, this is something that we can do. Um, this won't really necessarily work more and more. However, it should work if you do it like one time. Like if you land three heavies and do this, it should work um, once time, or sorry, one time per match. Just because, you know, they might not be expecting it. If they're guarding, it's going to look something like this. They're going to stand up a lot faster, so... Um, we can break their guard, uh, one, two, three, vanish, dash, and they're gonna be guarding right away, right? So they can definitely do that, um, if they're just gonna press buttons, it's probably gonna look something like this, where you vanish, dash, and they get up really fast, but they're just not, um, guarding, so we can try and do, like, a bunch of lights, or, um, we might be able to grab right away, let's see. We can grab, yep. So you just have to pretty much gauge what they're going to do. Um, it's it's a fighting game. Remember, it's all about reading your opponent. If they're going to press buttons, if they're going to guard, if they're just going to not press anything and get up slowly. It's the same exact thing with the second heavy. Um, the same exact properties. Um, the first heavy is the only one that it doesn't actually connect. And it kind of, I think, leaves you... I think you're a little... Um, I think they're plus... Um, like they can easily guard and try and hit you with something so I don't recommend vanishing on the first heavy definitely do it on the second and third For the vanish strings on the lights um, For the third light you can do something where you um, dash back and fully charge now This actually only works with a big Toshiro adult form Toshiro um, It's kind of actually interesting and I kind of I'm kind of glad it works um, like this so when you're in bigger form as Toshiro, um, this, will, this will work and I'll show you later. However, it's going to be something like that where you just hold charge. So do three lights, vanish backwards, dash, hold your light and it will hit um, on big Toshiro. On little Toshiro, it does not. Um, if we're going to do uh, four lights into a vanish dash, it looks something um, kind of like our little reset earlier with the three heavies. Where we can, uh, sorry, we can charge it, so boom, vanish, dash, hit him, and we can charge our heavy or something, and if we timed it right, it would kind of look like just like our heavies. On the fifth light, for little Toshiro and big to Toshiro, it is a confirmed, right when they get up, it hits them, so let me go ahead and put it on guard here, so you can see it for yourself. If they guard right when they get up, it's gonna immediately guard break them, so vanish backwards, boom, right, right when they get up, it hits. If you just want to vanish in place, it also works. Vanish in place, dash, hold light, boom, right? So, very good for that. Um, let me go ahead and show you the third light as Big Toshiro. Toshiro has like an extra hit, so... Oh, I gotta guard break him. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, vanish, dash, boom, right? It's gonna hit. 
me go ahead and show you off guard because um, it might look a little different. One, two, three, vanish, dash, boom. And it hits that kind of like different part and they go flying, right? So there's, it's pretty cool that there's different animation styles for uh, Toshiro, his hitbox is bigger. Um, so I really like that. I'm glad Bondi did stuff like that. All right, guys, getting into his vanish mix-ups. Now he actually does not have a dash grab. Um, it resets, and what this means is while he's um, dashing, his dash attack still has an animation kind of going, like the animation is still hitting him while he's trying to grab, so it grab resets. So what you can do, though, is dash, grab, and kind of press guard um, at the correct time, and then grab. If you do it right, it should be very fast, and it will look something like that. Um, however, it's kind of hard to pull off, so I don't really recommend you going for that right there. I messed up. Let's see if we can do it one more time. Oh, man. Like I said, very hard. Eh, that was slower, but you get the idea. So it doesn't have a dash grab. Not the end of the world, but still would be nice if he had one. Now, of course, we can always one light vanish behind him and try and grab. However, it looks like um, the enemy has a little more time than other characters to react, such as backstepping or uh, grab resetting, grab teching, whatever. So, of course, the first light thing is always an option. Um, it's, it usually catches people off guard. You can go ahead and dash again, but like I said, no grab. Um, of course, you can do one light, go right behind him, dash straight in their face and charge. I've done this before. It gets them, or you can actually just dash at them and then hold light on the ground. This does track them if you hold light on the ground, and if you're really good, you can go ahead and instant transmission. Holy crap, I must be terrible. What the heck? Oops. Boom, there we go. Be careful if you're going to do this not to press um, square too fast. You'll do the second light if you're trying to hold it. So wait a second, do the charge, and you can probably see them sidestepping or backstepping, and hopefully you get that instant transmission off. Now Toshiro doesn't have too much animation crossing with his um, lights. Now if you don't know what that means, it means if I do like one light and I vanish, do another light and try and do a charged up tilt or down tilt or heavy. Um, you can't really do a heavy or you can, but um, it means like it kind of looks like the animation that you were previous doing. So the second light animation kind of crosses up with the guard break you're trying to do and it's kind of hard to see the guard break. Toshiro doesn't really have one of these, however, I'd recommend vanishing on the third light and then doing the fourth light and then doing a charge up tilt. They kind of have the same animation, and plus you kind of go to the side as Toshiro, so the camera angle does look a little funky when you do this. So three lights, vanish, one more light, and then a charge up tilt or down tilt. I do recommend the uh, up tilt. And remember guys, if we do our down tilts, if we do half charge down tilts, we can always connect, so let's do three lights, vanish, one more light, charge, um, sorry, not charge, half charge, down tilt, and let's pretend it catches them, and we can do three, and then we can continue a combo. Same thing with the up tilts, three lights, boom, vanish, charge, up tilt, not doing it, one, two, three, boom, half charge, up tilt, and then continue the up tilt, and you should be able to continue a combo right after that. Just to let you know, he doesn't really have any good ones on his uh, heavies. They're all pretty, not necessarily slow, but the animations are just too fluid where it's kind of blocky at some points and it's pretty obvious to see what's going to happen. Um, but of course, feel free to do the vanish off the first heavy also and grab um, a little less time for, or sorry, more time for the opponent to uh, react. Um, there's a good amount of time to, for them to ult, backstep, sidestep, grab tech, whatever. Um, if you, of course, want to do this again, like I said, you need to grab then ult. Um, and of course, you always have the option of dashing and holding the charge light. Alright guys, some solo combos with him. The basic Toshiro combo you're probably always going to see is something like 5 lights into 3 heavies into 6 point ice formation, hail flower dragon, and then ult, right? This is pretty good damage. Um, if you ult, it would have done around 50%. Um, however, we just want to kind of see without ult for a second. It's a three bar combo and it does around 40%, maybe 45%. Not the best for Toshiro. It's very interesting. Toshiro actually gets a lot out of his lights and heavies just because he's able to connect a lot of stuff from them. Uh, most characters usually rely damage on abilities. Well, of course, this, um, this ability does quite a bit of damage for... Um, a two bar ability, especially if you combine it with two heavies, it does a lot of damage. 
It's just not as good as some other characters. And if you're thinking, well, why don't I just do two heavies into this, and then, you know, like, we have two other heavies into this, and then a Hail Flower Dragon, right? Well, look, I spent five bars, and it's actually, if not 2% more, maybe even less, it's still 40%, right? So, you're spending useless bars for almost no damage. So, make sure when you're playing Toshiro not to be using this more than once in a combo, just because it really doesn't do any more damage. It's better to try and get off a different type of ability. Um, especially with the latest patches, they're really putting a hurt on if you're using the same ability twice in one string, it's gonna hurt a lot less. That's pretty much how they nerfed Killer with Lightning Bomb. So just for show, we're gonna go ahead and awaken and I'm gonna show you the damage it could be with just these this basic little combo here. Five lights, two heavies, into this, and let's say we get a uh, Hail Flower Dragon off, we're near a wall. We can go ahead and ult. I actually don't know what this does, however I do know it does not just go straight up to 90%, does not go past 60%. It's strange Toshiro being a glass cannon, feels like it should do a little more damage than that. I think Jojo actually does more with his double star finger into ult. But it's still good damage, it's 60%, I'm, I think I'm asking for a little too much. Um, from all these Jump Force characters having like basic combos that can do like 80%, right? We don't want that. We don't need that. But other than that, still good. Um, but we can do better if we start adding some assists. I do want to say, guys, if you manage to like break their guard or they like waste their escape and you don't know when they're going to get it back, it's just more effective to do two heavies in this combo. There's no reason to do five lights. Why? Because just do one or two lights. Go into two heavies, use um, six point ice, then hail flower dragon, then ult, right? This, honestly, the five lights are probably gonna give you one more percent of damage. If you know for a fact you can land the whole combo, then do it, go ahead, because that one percent could be the round winner or not. But if, you know, they escape and it's been two seconds before you started the combo, they're most likely gonna be able to get out of it somehow. So just do two heavies. Of course, guys, you can do three heavies. However, like I said, sometimes they can just roll out of um, six point ice formation somehow. It's usually happening near a wall, so be very careful with that. All right, guys, I use Goku as an assist for Toshiro. Goku is just an overall good assist. However, it also offers a reset for us. Um, we're also gonna be using a charged icicle bird ability. Now, of course, you can use people like Piccolo for this. Piccolo is probably the easier assist for this, but it doesn't offer the reset that Goku does. Uh, that Goku does. So what it's gonna look like is of course you can do however many lights you want But I'm just gonna do two heavies right here. Or sorry three heavies six point ice point formation Whatever it's called Use Goku walk up and use ice gold bird charge it all the way It's gonna hit right there and that's where the reset is sometimes people don't believe that um, They can guard after getting hit with uh, ice point or sorry the ice gold birds and so I use hail flower dragon um, also, if you want to do two heavies into that, that works, but it's very little damage. So that's what we're going to be going for. Um, if we try and ult right after, of course, ult does connect with Hail Flower Dragon after. Um, but of course, if the opponent is clearly catching on, and it's pretty obvious, and because it's an unsafe ability, if you don't want to risk that, um, you can just do something where you just, you know, dash up and just continue to put pressure on, right? It's just a very safe way to end a combo, and I enjoy it a lot. Just because, um, I don't know, I, I really like incorporating this ability um, other than just being a zoning tool. And it does quite a bit of damage, as, as you can see. Like, at charged, it does more than Hail Flower Dragon, right? So, technically, when you're doing this combo, instead of using Hail Flower Dragon right here, and you can just charge it, and it does a lot of damage. Of course, guys, you have to kind of get the timing down. If you think you're going to miss... Um, Timing with Goku, by the way, like right there when hit. If you're gonna miss, just let go of it. If you think you're gonna miss, let go of Icicle Birds, and it will shoot earlier, and it should catch him. Now, guys, Awakened, it's gonna do a lot of damage. I actually believe it can be 100%, depending on the team. But we're gonna do the combo right here. Boom. And if we go for the reset, we use this. And they don't block. I have landed it. It is in my best Toshiro combo video. Um, so it is possible. It just depends on the player. I believe this should do 100%. If not, then bummer. 
boom, 100% right there, very good. But of course, it is a reset, so if you want to go for something a little more, you know, confirmed, you can do three heavies, this, Goku, walk up, ice point again. Since he's near a wall, I'm going to do Hail Flower Dragon. And I'm going to ult right after this, right? Five bar combo. Um, you can also ult after ice point formation if you're close enough. However, it's just you can dash up and use it if you need to. But look at the damage reduction on the ult. I almost feel like it's pretty much a waste. Um, as you can see right there, not a lot of damage. You can also do something like this if you don't want to do two ice point formations, which is something I recommend. I don't like people doing that. You can do something like this. Do the Ice Cold Birds. I think I might have mistimed it. And so Shiro's ult reaches a little further than you think, depending on where you are. So definitely test where you are. This will land right here, and it does more damage than the 5 bar combo we just did, right? Oh, just because of the Ice Cold Birds. So you're not necessarily playing with fire or ice. That was a really bad pun right there, but... Um, by doing this, you're not really technically, it's not a gamble, right? You can let go of it if you think you mistimed it or something, it'll shoot off early, it should still land. However, it's something very, it's just not as safe as other options. So, of course, you can choose other safe options, however, I love doing Icicle Birds, I think it's the better one to go for. Definitely more rewarding. And technically, even if they block it, you're still safe, right? Like. They're shooting as you like you come out of your ability and you can guard so it's it's safe right now guys of course if you're like playing throughout the game and you manage to get like super saiyan goku because of course maybe you're not playing toshiro the whole game especially since laws in the game now you might might have gotten switched out um it's actually a little easier to land this combo you can call in goku a little earlier and you can do this um however uh see it it's just I even mistimed it and it still landed. Even if you want to call him in a little late, I think you have extra time to charge in. So let's hold up our seat. You have extra time to land this. Kamehameha is still going on, and I can actually land this again and land all three abilities technically and ult. So let me go ahead and show you the damage with that. Of course, this is only with Super Saiyan Goku. And we can ult, right? I'm curious if we might have been able to get another 6 point ice formation, however, I'd rather just do this. I actually don't know if it's more damage than just doing Ice Cold Bird solo. It looks like it is, it's a little more damage. Um, however, I think it's better instead of wasting that one bar for Hail Flower Dragon, unless you're like really close to killing them. Um, just do something like this where... Just ult. Just ult right there. I think it just does more damage. Actually did it like a little late too, because you can see, like I didn't hit him in the air this time for Super Saiyan Goku. Right? I think with the Hail Flower Dragon it did a little more damage. Maybe like 2%. I can't actually tell. It looks like it was the same. So, just it's really up to you. If you don't have a bar, that's just something you can do. Or if you have a bar and you want to save it, just do something like that. Also guys, I will let you know that you cannot land it fully charged, sorry, you can't land the Icicle Birds fully charged if you are kind of like in an open area in a map unless you have Super Saiyan Goku, right? All of them land right there and that's a good like 4, is that 50%? That's like 48% damage right there, a lot better than our other combo. However, with normal Goku, if I tried to do it, um, Goku would be too fast and you know, I'll try and simulate it. And this wouldn't land, right? I got lucky right there and it landed, but it wouldn't land. So if you're using normal Goku and you are out in the open area, there is no wall to be seen. Um, just half charge it and take some of the confirmed damage. It still does more damage than um, uh, Hailflower Dragon. However, you also have the option of just like, let's say, hold up, that's not a good example. Let me go over here. You also have the option of just doing this. You know, calling in Goku and just dashing in, you know, doing more lights. Maybe you're trying to waste their stamina bar even more or we're going into our Vanish Strings and putting more pressure on them, right? You never know. Um, 
a lot of endless options there, but again, guys, just have to kind of gauge what's going to work with Ice Cold Bird. I do think it's the better ability than Hailflower Dragon. Alright guys, I finished earlier than I actually thought I would, and we actually have a little bit of time to throw in some gameplay. So I found a B5 playing Law, Kane, and Hisoka. I'm going to kind of show you how I play um, um, Toshiro here. Law is actually really annoying. Also, I'll show you what I can do with Goku, but I did miss right there. Oh, frick. Got him, let's go. Oh, I'm out of stamina! What? How'd I... How'd I use up so much? Oh, see you guys. Some people just fall for it. Also, Tershiro's heavies are... Oh, here we go. Let's see if I can do this. Got him right there. I won't be able to follow up, but it's okay. Oh, frick! <laughs> go ahead and grab. Let's see if we can get the spammable grab off. Got it. And I thought he sidestepped or grabbed, so I did that. Alright. So we're going to let him hit us one more time. Hopefully he fully awakens here so he can't escape our combo. I want him to. I don't think it's going to happen, unfortunately. So There's our guard break cheese that is not allowed in the tournament. Ah. I didn't do any of the mixes, I totally forgot. I want him to awaken. He's not awakening. I'm, I'm actually very annoyed about this. Okay, wait, I just realized we can just freaking stage transition him. I've done a lot of damage to him though. Ah, oh, the grab. Okay, I'm really just trying to get his red bar off, guys. All right, that's really what I'm trying to do. All right. <sighs> it's just really annoying when I'm trying to show you guys combos for these and people just, they just do this. Uh, I definitely tried to vanish it. I thought it would come out sooner. Okay, screw it. We're just gonna do it. Big Toshiro. There, look at that. He finally uses it. Oh, well, that's awkward. I tried to heavy. Alright, well, he used his ult, but honestly, I could kill him here with just a six point formation and a freaking uh, ult, so. Got him, just do two heavies. And two ult. And it will kill. Unfortunately, guys, sorry. I guess I could have done the ice school thing. We had Goku available. Um, but that's a shame. Falls right into it, and this should kill. But guys, as you can see, like, I wasn't trying too hard. Toshiro's pretty, pretty nice on the lights. Um, but... I'll, you know what, I'll try and pull that combo off. I've already pulled it off in a, another video, however, I'll try and find someone again. I should have probably rematched him just because he was a B5, but hey. Alright guys, I'll try and focus on the 100% combo, or just like the regular combo here. Um, but first I'm gonna focus, holy crap, more on mix-ups. Oh nice. That was actually really smart. Why does it feel slow but not laggy? Okay. This actually might be good. We have ult right here. If I wanted to, I probably could go for it. Yeah, let's try and break his guard. Just holding heavy here. Well, not further. Unlucky. He moved, but I don't think I'm going to catch him. Unlucky, though. I figured he'd get his stamina back. I shouldn't have charged heavy. Ah, oh, we got him, though. Oh, we're going to go ahead and use this. Got 
I'm not gonna guard break shoot some guys. I'm not like that. Boom. There we go. Grab spam is also really nice because you can dash up and just do something else. So, all right, let's go for some mixes here. Oh my! Oh frick! Did I sidestep? I did not. Okay. We'll do the full combo here because we can. So half charge. Oh, I missed it. You know what we should do is go for the, uh, oh frick. <laughs> we should do the uh, three lights into dash back and see if he falls for the guard break. I believe you can sidestep it. I'm pretty sure you have enough time, but let's see if he falls for it. One, two. Oh wait, we got a mix up here. Gosh, it's so it's so like laggy. I can't tell when I get like I'm hitting him for guarding or not. Let's try it. And we got him right. So it's pretty good, pretty effective there. Unfortunately, guys, it wasn't able to pull off the combo, and we are out of time. But if you want to see the combo actually landed, it works all the time, guys. Trust me. Sorry, not all the time. The reset doesn't work all the time. But the Ice Cold Birds does work if you practice it enough. Um, go check out my best combo, Toshiro video. And um, I do land it in that video. If you want to see that, it is possible. And I've landed it on um, A players, too. So don't just be thinking it's, you know, B, C, D, 5 players falling for that reset. It works. You guys, hey... Thank you so much for watching. This is a long overdue guide. Um, I'm going to work on Law and Grimjow next. Um, so look out for that. And I'm also going to try and make some fighters videos. It's been a while. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.